Hi Taurus, thank you for visiting my channel Merging Timelines. Today we're doing a very general late reading. <laughs> this one is a part of the series from yesterday. Was it yesterday? I don't know. Anyways, it's the person you're thinking about, Taurus. The person that you are thinking about. I really think it's necessary that we go and look about this person since they're on your mind and all, you know, might as well. All is fair in love and war. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, let's see, Taurus. What can we pull from this person's energy? Taurus, I always read for sun and moon viewers. So if you have a sun or moon within Taurus, these messages are for you from your person you're thinking of. Okay? Thank you so much for being here. If you happen to like my style of reading or my vibe, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Sorry, I'm like, I'm tapping on your reading. I don't know if you heard that, but it was like a, I got rhythm. Does your person like music? Do you like music? Is that a thing for you? Are you connected by music? I wonder what songs I'll channel in this. Let's see if we can guess your person's song. Taurus, sun or moon viewers. Taurus, Taurus. Please, Spirit, give us a reading for Taurus's person, the person that they are thinking of. What can we tell Taurus about the person that they are thinking of today? Taurus, the person that you are thinking of. Boy, I can tell you, this is a very secretive person. And I'll tell you why. There's a war going on. In their environment, it's going down. And I mean, with a few people, right? This could be people at work. This could be people at home. Or this could be a combination of both. Like this person is really facing some sort of conflict, right? They're trying to end a war going on. And I feel like they're competing with someone else to prove that they have the power to stop this war. You know, like they have the composure. I, I feel like this is at work for this person. They're dealing with some sort of conflict in their job and they're being asked to step up and be that person who diffuses the argument amongst the coworkers, their coworkers. Now it could be also at home, but I see this more at work. Taurus. I feel like this person has no problem putting out fires. Maybe they like thrive off of being able to handle conflict. Like, your person enjoys it and thrives off of it, I feel. Taurus. Taurus. Taurus's person, the person that Taurus is thinking of. Oops, there we go. Now, when it comes to their heart, which would explain why they're so good at conflict, is that they don't really use their heart space a lot. In fact, their heart is being held in a very uncomfortable position, almost like they feel out of control of what to do when it comes to it. So they focus on everything but their heart space. In fact, this person is like the Tin Man without a heart. Okay, is it the Tin Man? Yeah, I don't know. Either way, person has no heart. They're focused on the money, they seem to be successful in this realm. I mean, 
They, they're pretty gifted when it comes to money. They may be an accountant, you know, or just someone who handles the money aspect of the business because of all the conflict that kind of arises as a result of it. They're the go-to person when it comes to money. Now their heart, no vision. Like definitely earth sign that I'm feeling here, but doesn't have to be. This could also be your energy that, you know, they're sharing. Learning to be more of your element when they are naturally a fire person, you know? So I see earth and fire and Pisces. Pisces, not so much unless you're dealing, because they're very, very sensitive beings and I don't see them being this, although there's a double fish aspect. So in their darker end, they may be very well to put out these things. So I take that back, Pisces. Some of you may be dealing with Pisces. There's a victory here at work. I mean, again, this person really thrives off of this gift that they have to diffuse conflicts but it allows them to heal something within like heal a conflict within themselves maybe it's you know much easier to resolve things when you're outside of it and then somehow you come back to center and realize okay ah have this going on myself but it's within and so the world wants to come in with a page, with a new idea. But I see that they have to heal a vision first in order to receive the idea. Like the page of wands is a small passionate message that says, you know, I enjoy this. I've enjoyed this. You know, this is like them receiving a reminder from the divine that says you, you used to be into those kind of things. Maybe it's music. Remember we started off the video saying that they used to be into music or they may like music. I haven't heard any songs yet, but this person may like music. Taurus, sun and moon viewers, Taurus. So they're feeling victorious as they diffuse conflicts at work or conflicts at home. They do see themselves growing in the material realm because they do work very successfully with others in business and finance. But they're healing their hearts, they're healing their visions. It says the angel of flexibility I am ready for the surprises of life. And I see that with this temperance represents Sagittarius energy. And although it represents a very quick, quick time energetically, seasonally, it also talks about the need to slow things down, which is really oppositional. But let me, trust me, mutable signs are very oppositional that way. They are as good as they are face-to-face, -face, okay? They literally satisfy until they're not around you anymore and then it's the next thing. It's their superpower, you know? I sympathize because it can be triggering as a fixed, a fellow fixed sign. We don't switch up that easily. We just, it takes everything for us to, but not Sagittarius. So there's another sign you could be dealing with Pisces, Sag, or an Earth sign. And now I just see Pisces and Sag, to be honest. But you decide. When we are in the tune with our souls, we get the inspiration that will help us not to harden or crystallize in relation of thoughts, concepts, habits, patterns, and or conditions. When we are able to flow, Follow the flow of intelligent energy in the daily affairs of our lives with flexibility. We create an openness for the spirit within us to come and make our, make our burden light. Wow. Okay, so I feel like this person triggers you because here they are showing two mutable signs. And we talked about mutals. Mutals. We talked about mutables and how they are as good as they are face-to-face, -face, right? 
And so you're being triggered as you hold space for these people deep, deep in your heart, this person you're connecting to. And it does say when we are able to, to follow the flow of intelligent energy and daily affairs of our lives with flexibility. So this person is te testing you, but in all actuality, they are stretching you, right? I mean, they're turning you into Mrs. Incredible. Like you're gonna be the most flexible person ever. And I mean, you may kind of get a little taste of this at work, right? Where you're flexible because again, it's a lot easier to diffuse conflict when you're outside of it. But when you're inside of it, I don't think you take very well to that. It's my way or not. And so if you're dealing with a mutable person, then you're going to need to understand that the more you control them, the more that they will run away, okay? So I hope that you enjoyed the message. I really did enjoy this myself. The world card says that you will be entering in a new cycle as soon as you accept this idea, this spark, this reminder of what it is, who it is that you're passionate about, and then the rest is history. So let me know how you feel about that. I really enjoyed the reading and enjoyed the time you spent with me. Thanks, Taurus. Bye.